is an exercise, and sometimes we complain about things that we don't like about society and the way society treats our culture. And if you've got a right to celebrate your own on your own terms, then exercise that right and do it. I mean, you see people like Cicely Tyson on this stage. Cicely Tyson's never been honored before in this capacity. So I think the, the, the answer is pretty obvious. You know, we're exercising the right to honor our culture. And, 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 and in no means is it exclusionary, because I think that black films have universal appeal. So hopefully this show will communicate the universal appeal of a black cinema and the fact that we've decided to exercise our right to celebrate our own films and culture. Thank you. Yes. So you're actually picking up where other award shows are kind of leaving off and, and, and leaving out um, various people who maybe have been nominated but haven't gotten that award that they truly deserved? Well, I wouldn't say picking up where they left off. Um, this is a new thing, you know. You, there, and there are a lot of black and African American war, award shows, but I just thought there needed to be one with a singular focus on, on movies. So I wouldn't say, because when you say picking up what others left off, you, you still give the others too much credit. You know, we, we, we got a term that we use in my office because Hollywood. So, you know, we're doing this because, how, because Hollywood. Sorry. Soul family, this is Shandrice coming at you once again from the Spaghetti Junction Urban Film Fest. This time we're here at the awards and they're kicking it off nice. It's so beautiful up in here, but because they got beautiful people up in here, I'm here sitting with BET one and only Ralph Scott. Ralph Scott, y'all know I'm gonna get him. Y'all know I'm coming at him strong. First, let us know what you do at BET, not your title, but what you do. Well, my title, I'm an executive producer, and, and I just want to make sure I clarify, it's BTJ. And the oh, J okay. is very important because uh, J used to be BT Jazz, mm -hmm. now it's BTJ, and we're bringing a, a more powerful programming than BT. Oh, oh okay. And t tell us exactly uh, what they're honoring you here at the Spaghetti Junction Urban Film Fest. Well, you know, I was talking to Mark, one of the creators here last night, and he said it was due to one of my efforts uh, years ago of providing an email list for black filmmakers that they were inspired to create this film festival. And so he said that without any thought, gosh, we should honor the guy that kind of helped us get started. So I didn't even know that. I didn't know a conversation I had six years ago with somebody would result in such a wonderful film festival. Gotta take the good with the bad, keep living And let your problems be a thing in the past, keep living And don't lose sight of your dream, keep living Just live life, it'll be alright Every day I get up and go to a job and listen to somebody whose job is to tell me how to do my job so that they can keep their job. And when I work them 40 hours a week and get my paycheck before I even open it and know that I've been robbed by the notorious federal mob and that still stands for money over brothers. And I'm just one of the millions of brothers that Uncle Sam tell to get up every morning and get out there and work them corners. Or that car you driving and that house you living in gonna have some brand new owners. Uncle Sam took 42% of my bonus. It's messed up by the government on us and getting up every morning and making them some money is really only reason why they want us you know more than a social security number getting judged by your bank account and credit status and every time you try to make a little bit of money on the side then big brother looking at us making them new laws changing the system finding devious ways to tax us take money out of our pockets and don't even ask us and now we can't even ride around with cell phones y'all cause George Bush tracks us but you do what you gotta do cause that's the only way you gonna be able to feed that baby that's the only way a good man gonna be able to take care of his old 
lady You say that I can do it, but sometimes life again That sentence with maybe You gotta beat this system, stay on the grind And make sure everything stay all gravy You gotta back, keep living Let your problems be a thing in the past Keep living, keep living, keep living, y'all uh, And don't lose sight of your dream Keep living, just live life It'll be all right Cause I'm, 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 I'm living Oh, 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 living Just enough for the city I'm living Thank you What kind of advice would you give me getting up and started and getting out there? Because I actually sent BET, not BETJ, but okay. BET, one of my reels for um, a host, one of their host shows. So what type of advice would you give me on the outside looking in trying to get there? Well, the thing you have to realize about coming up is getting known. You have right. to build a brand name for yourself. So if you notice some of the people that have been on YouTube, that have gotten a quadrillion hits on their site, you best believe that they're gonna get an agent and they're gonna right. be able to get somewhere. So you have to figure out a way, whether it's acting in your local plays or, or doing a very good show, or getting recognized and known for what you do, and eventually someone's gonna say, hey, you know, next time we look for a... Uh, Chandrice. Chandrice. Exactly. <laughs> we'll give you a call. You guys, I hope you are ready to sit back, relax, and get some musical therapy because that's what I'm about to bring you guys. And by you sitting right now, but by the time this is all done, you're going to be standing up, shaking your hips. You'll see what I'm talking about. Amber, what is music therapy? That's a great question. I, an easy answer is music therapy is the use of music to achieve a therapeutic goal. That's the easy answer, but a little more explanation of that is music therapy is part of an allied health profession where music therapists go into and work with individuals with cognitive, social, psychological, and emotional deficits. And so after assessing these clients, seeing what their needs are, we program and put together a treatment plan that we address and we're using music, we're singing, we're playing, we're moving, we're drumming to increase what is it, whatever it is that they need, whatever their deficits are, we use our music to increase their skill levels to make sure their world is a better world. I like the way you said that. Thanks. And so therefore I'm gonna ask Marsha, I feel like a school teacher here. <laughs> Marsha, who is qualified to practice music therapy? Well, someone who has earned a degree from a college or a university with an approved music therapy curriculum and have, com have completed an internship at an approved clinical training site. Now, after they have completed their coursework and completed their internship, then they are eligible to sit for a national exam that's provided by the Certification Board for Music Therapists, and they can become board certified. Wow, I'm learning a lot over here. And Miss Rachel... Well, okay. What is the history of music therapy as a health care professional? Well, um, most people, because they haven't heard of music therapy, think that it's something new, but it's really not. It, there, if you go back to the writings of Aristotle and Plato, there's even evidence of music being used as a healing tool. Um, but here in the 20th century, in the United States, music therapy began as um, veterans were coming back from World War I and World War II and were in hospitals, uh, hospitals would hire music therapy, or excuse me, musicians yeah. to come in and play for them. And um, it became very clear that there needed to be some further training for these musicians as they were dealing with these veteran patients. And so a degree program started at Western Michigan, excuse me, Michigan State University in 1944. So actually, music therapy is as a profession has been around for quite some time now. Well, I'm learning a lot. And from Stephanie, I'm going to learn what do music therapists do? Well, music therapists assess 
whatever clients we're working with, that could be a variety of clients, emotional well-being, physical health, social functioning, communication abilities, cognitive skills, and all of those three music activities. Um, we design our sessions around whatever the client's treatment is that we've decided or whatever their needs are. Um, and we typically, um, each of us, see about 100 to 150 students a wow. week. And we um, assess them. We come up with a session plan. We meet with a team to, to come up with the best plan to serve them. And then we also do follow-up later on. And from Natalie, I'm going to ask, who can benefit from music therapy? Everybody can benefit from music therapy. Uh, healthy individuals as well as those that are having some issues or concerns. Um, we work with children, we work with adolescents, we work with adults, we work with the elderly. Uh, we work with those having aging related issues in different settings, um, those with substance abuse issues, those having uh, intellectual disabilities, those having chronic and acute pain, even women in labor uh, we can work with. So there. Everybody can benefit. Everybody can get some music therapy. If you take exactly what Natalie just said and figure out where all those people are at, that tells you where music therapists work. Um, all of us up here work in the Fulton County School System. We are music therapists working with children with disabilities from ages of 3 to 21. But there are music therapists in Atlanta and all over working in several different um, settings. There are music therapists in geriatric institutions, in psychiatric institutions, in um, the general hospitals, working in the um, NICU, the neonatal units with ba little babes. There are music therapists working um, in hospice care. There are you every you can think of any hospital around where there are people in need and a music wow. therapist can be hired there to work with those people. It's a great job. We need more people I'm, doing I'm it. I'm totally interested and you know what, from that I'm going to ask Miss Marsha, what are some of the misconceptions about music therapy? Well, there's several misconceptions. As music therapists, we frequently hear as music therapy, music for musicians. And you don't have to be a musician. In fact, our clients, um, it's not required at all to benefit from music therapy to have any specific music skill at all. Um, anybody can benefit from music therapy, as Natalie was just saying. Uh, another misconception can be that there's one particular style of music that is more therapeutic than another. Um, and really there's a lot of variables that go in as to uh, what style of music as music therapists we're going to use in a session, um, the individual's preferences, the circumstances around that particular patient or client's needs, um, the patient's uh, particular goals and objectives and their need in uh, treatment. Um, uh, their age, as a matter of fact. So there are a lot of variables. All music can be beneficial and therapeutic. So there's a, a, a broad, broad yes. spectrum of yes. that. And Ms. Rachel is going to also tell us, is music therapy a, no, is there research to support music therapy? Yes, there is, actually. Um, our American Music Therapy Association, which is our national organization that kind of governs um, music therapists here in the United States, um, supports lots of research in music therapy, uh, talking about the benefits of music therapy across multiple populations and ages. So um, those findings are published in two of our journals, the Journal of Music Therapy and Music Therapy Perspectives. Oh, I have another question for you. Is music therapy a reimbursable service? Yes, um, it is being reimbursed depending on the state and also a case-by-case -case basis. So um, Medicaid and Medicare are often reimbursing for some of music therapy wow. services, but again, it depends on the case. There's also some music therapists. Uh, the American Music Therapy Association um, estimates that about 20% of music therapists are being reimbursed through insurance companies. And then there's other forms of reimbursement that um, music therapists are being paid out of grants, um, different foundations, state mental health departments, and various other uh, forms of reimbursement are being, um, being paid out to music therapists that are providing services. That's interesting to know. And from Ms. Stephanie, I'm going to find out what is a typical musical session like? Well, as you've heard us tell you all of the different type of clients right. that can benefit from music therapy, 
We can also tell you that there's no set formula, no set standard that a, t a music therapy session will look like. It will all be based on the client's needs and what treatment has been established for them. Um, but a typical music therapy session might include um, songwriting, improvisation, lyric discussion, instrument playing, movement, just a variety of things. But there's no set um, formula for what a session might look like. Okay. And Miss Natalie, what is the future music of um what is the future of music therapy? Oh, the future of music therapy is very bright. Rachel was telling us a lot about the research-based aspect of it, and that's what we're focusing on. We're really trying to get more research done on brain development and brain function to let us know how mu music therapy is beneficial to us. And with that being said, we're looking to do that research, to get more input from um, healthcare providers, doctors, scientists about having music therapy as a primary form of treatment instead of being in addition to other forms of treatment. Um, we really want to move into getting music therapy out in the forefront as something that will help uh, in many different ways and help many different individuals. Hmm. And I have another question for Ms. Amber. How can music therapy be applied to healthy individuals? Well, you can imagine, you use music, as everyone does, when they get a little stressed, a little upset, on their drive home, how often do you turn the music on? Do you listen to a lot of music night? I do. See? And does it de-stress you? Yeah, as, as a matter of yes. fact, it does. Does it put you in a better mood? Oh, yeah. See? So oh, healthy yeah. individuals use music all the time. And that is a very primary form of music therapy. Also, music therapists, not music therapists, regular, everybody else can use music and join um, community drumming groups, as we're going to show you in just a little bit, that this is a very um, therapeutic tool to use your drums to de-stress your day. Also, we had talked earlier that uh, healthy individuals, um, ladies in labor and um, people going through other um, pain management kind of issues, use music to just help them focus, to relax, to get their mind off of those things that may stress them out. So I do encourage people to look around and try to find those musical avenues in their neighborhoods to see where they can get joined in and, and be part of a drumming group or any kind of an organization that will allow them to de-stress and use a little music. And we're going to show you a little bit about that. We're going to do a little mini drumming group here for you. Is that okay? Because oh, yeah. I want to hear from Miss Amber and Marsha and Rachel and Natalie and Stephanie. I'm not feeling so well, and I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking I need some music therapy, so I have one question. What does music therapy sound like? <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm not feeling well. I'll dig it. Let me get out of you guys. Neil, so you guys are in for a treat sitting down now, but watch what happens. You're going to be off of your feet.
you know what? You guys have de-stressed me. We work within the Fulton County uh, school system as music therapists, and we do our own programs in uh, several schools in the area. Yesterday we got together for about 30 minutes and put this together. So it's not that you have to have musical training to do these drumming circles and to get involved in your community. You can find someone, seek someone out uh, in the music therapy world at uh, musictherapy.org um, and they can give you local resources so you can get in contact with someone if you're interested in getting involved in your community. And we'd also like to say thank you so much to our friend uh, on the clavies. We didn't get a chance to introduce him this yeah. morning. Thank you very much. <laughs> Now, also, really quick, is um, is it also therapy for you guys? Absolutely. There's not a day that goes by that we don't receive a warm fuzzy from something going on, sitting with a group of children, making music with them, listening with them, creating with them. It is absolutely the best job, if you can call it that, that is created. It's truly a gift. You know, that's what I felt something right in here. I think it was a, I think it was a warm that fuzzy. That was a warm fuzzy. That was, was it? That was, it wasn't that pizza. That was that warm fuzzy. And I know my Neo Soul people feel it too. Is there anything you guys want to say to the Neo Soul people before we? Um, Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you. Could you guys play a little uh, outro music of Neo sure. Soul? Shout out for us, y'all. This is Neo Soul Spoken Word Variety Show, and they're going to take us out with that warm, fuzzy feeling. Oh, we're just going to groove. So hey, it's all good. I can groove with y'all. <laughs>
Have you performed anywhere lately? Yeah, I performed at talent shows, you know. I did little things, you know. But you're ready for something big now, huh? Yeah. Okay, see? Yeah. <laughs> you look like you are. You are, you know, and your little dicks and all this old good stuff. You know, they be always be trying to tell Ma, you're talking wrong. That is not how we speak. You know what I'm saying? I know how y'all be doing it, the youngsters. So, and how long you been singing? Um, Probably like four years now. How long you been here in Georgia? Almost a year now. You like it? Yeah, I'm liking it. You're liking it. Yeah. You're used to it. Yeah. You're going to make it home. Yeah. Okay, now you're doing your thing and you're singing and all this good stuff. What about your education? What you doing about you? you you going to keep mean, on with your education? Yeah, I'm going to keep flowing with it, you know. You're going to keep flowing yeah, with I'm, it. We're going to need I'm you a, to do more than that because yeah. we love intelligent men, boy, especially our black men. What's going to happen when somebody come with that big deal you've been waiting on? You going to continue your education? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, get homeschooled, yeah. you know. Oh, okay. That's I easier. like him, y'all. He's a keeper. He is a keeper. <laughs> we going to keep him. Where else can they get in contact with you through your mom? How can they book you? All this so good stuff. We want to know how we can put our hands on you at any time at all. So next time I, I have you here on the show, because I'm having a gap fest with my teenagers soon. Uh -huh. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm sure to have you back. Uh -huh. So how besides MySpace can they get in contact with you? My phone. But, I don't you know, know if you I ain't, I ain't broadcasting I don't know that. Where you yeah, yeah. Even but, mama shaking her head. No. Like, no. You know, like Yahoo, little things. Oh, you got a Yahoo address. Give them your Yahoo address. JBizzleNBNY. At Yahoo.com. Yada da. Da da da. Y'all hear from Neo Soul family, I tell you. He brought it. And he, he going to, after he tell Neo Soul bye, he going to leave us with a little tune, y'all. This is Shandrice. I love y'all, Neo Soul. Come on. Let us out of here with a little ha ha. I can't say it, y'all. <laughs> I think I reached my goal. I wouldn't think me so. Stop. I'm loving it. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's my baby, y'all. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Neil, so I love y'all. Peace. I'm out of here.